It's finally official. Next Star Media Group has now formally closed the deal to acquire 75% of the CW Broadcast Network. Now, again, there's it's been, this information has been established for a couple of months now, but, you know, it, I guess it was never official. And with Warner Bros. Discovery slashing a couple of things, well, more than a couple of things, a number of things, the CW was a part of it, but they still hold on a minority percentage along with Paramount, I believe. But the majority of the ownership now goes to Nexstar Media Group. And with that exchange of hands, you also have more people being axed. And in this time, in this instance, it's the CEO, Mark Pedowitz. Yes, Mark Pedowitz, who's been the CEO of the CW during all of their horrible years of failure uh, for the last 11 years. He has uh, bid his farewell and he's been replaced by Dennis Miller. Now, when I saw that name initially, of course, my mind went straight to the comedian. Dennis Miller, but no, <laughs> it's a different Dennis Miller. Uh, Dennis Miller, this Dennis Miller, is a Next Star board member and apparently an established figure in media and financial crisis. Uh, previously, he oversaw the business operations for the TV Guide Network, which is now Pop TV. And Miller was a general partner at Spark Capital, a venture capital firm that invested in Twitter, Tumblr, CNET, and other digital businesses. Okay, so he was a part of investing in Twitter and Tumblr, which uh, CW is basically the TV network equivalent for Twitter and Tumblr. We'll see if he brings those type of practices to the CW, which again has promised to cater to a broader audience, even though I was surprised to find out that most of the people that were watching that crap on the CW and probably still watches the crap on the CW are people in their damn fifties. <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, Next Star has the majority of ownership, 75%. Warner Bros. Discovery and Paramount Global will each retain 12.5% ownership. So, in a way, you know, Warner is still involved with the CW, along with Paramount. So, we'll see if what their contributions will be, especially if it, when it comes to programming. Now, let me read a little bit of what this article has to say about this. It states here, although the changing of the guard for the CW is the most stark change hitting any of the broadcast networks, they are all facing existential challenge. Oh no, they are all facing, <laughs> yeah, existential challenge. Live sports, almost entirely football, and the WWE are pretty much the only reliable tune-in generators and the decline of viewership has come fast as millions of people cut the cord each year. Which, again, bravo. Now, if only we can get people to stop paying these streaming services and use the magic of the internet to watch their stuff, then we can really see a decline in the mainstream media. And as alternatives grow, that is outside of commie Marxist Hollywood, that is what I would suggest financially supporting. And just completely, not just cut the cord, but cut the streaming off of all of these uh, platforms that they have out here. Um, but anyway, this is what Mark Pedowitz had to say, uh, by the way, in regards to being uh, booted from the CW. He stated, quote, together we have accomplished so much. Yeah, so much failure. 
This upstart network with its unique blend of programming brought the CW into the forefront of pop culture and social media. Yeah, the CW has become a meme for horrible, horrible programming. Anyway, he continues, we made water cooler TV in a multi-platform world. We embrace what the audience wanted and gave it to them. So he's going to exit, continue, continuing his delusion. I mean, it's not like I expected any of these people to ever be honest. <laughs> but I just like to highlight how just egregiously dishonest that they are. I mean, acting as if the CW created water cooler moments. It's just, again, it's just a classic example of how shameless they are when it comes to their lying. You know, and, and the only significant impression they made on pop culture and social media is basically they become a term that people use to describe how bad something is. You know, they describe it as being CW bad. Like that's, that's what Mark Pedowitz has, has brought the CW into, you know, as far as their impression on, you know, pop culture and social media. They, they've just become a meme for how bad programming can be. Now we just wait and see if Dennis Miller and the next our media group will do anything different. I mean, they still have Gotham Knights coming out soon. And I believe Powerpuff Girls, the live action show at the CW, hasn't been officially canceled yet. So I guess we just wait and see what they do differently, if they do anything differently. I mean, one of their plans is to push sitcoms and procedurals. So it'll be interesting to see which, what kind of sitcoms and what kind of procedurals they push. I mean, again, I don't personally believe they'll be any different because you know all of these people are the same. But um, this is the most attention I would say the CW has received in recent months that I guess is more positive than not because you know people like to react to change but now we're going to see if anything actually changes with the CW and its new ownership and new top guy which is Dennis Miller not the comedian